السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته محاضرتنا بعنوان The Bone The main objectives for this lecture include List the general functions of bone Determine the nature of bone matrix Recognize the different types of bone cells and their functions Compare between periosteum and endoosteum List the shapes and types of bone Identify spongy and compact bones Explain synovial membrane and synovial fluid. Differentiate between primary and secondary bones. Bone, like all other types of connective tissue, which consist of cells and extracellular matrix, but differ from all types of connective tissue by the nature of the matrix, where the matrix is rigid and hardness. This matrix is calcified and acidophilic. What are the main functions of the bone? These are to support fleshy structure, such as ribs, to permit locomotion, such as long bones, to provide protection to vital organs, such as brain, heart, and lung, such as this bone as skull. Also, harbors the bone marrow. Where blood cells are formed. طبعا البون هو اللي يحوي على البون مارو اللي يعتبر هو أساس تكوين كريات الدم. Also play a vital role in the mineral metabolism of the body. Or consider a reservoir for several minerals of the body such as calcium and phosphate. يعتبر هو الخزين الرئيسي لأهم المعادن اللي هي الكالسيوم والفوسفات. What are the components of bone matrix? The matrix composed of 35% of organic and 65% inorganic components. The organic components include ground substance and type 1 collagen fibers. And then in matrix ibara and juice organic or juice inorganic. The organic is here. تشمل الجرام سبستانز والفايبرز The inorganic components include the mineral salts such as calcium phosphate which include 85% calcium carbonate 10% and other salts 5% that found in the matrix Why the bone matrix is hardness and rigid? The matrix is rich in protoglycans in addition to chondroitin sulfate and keratin sulfate. The matrix also composed of mineral salts, which is responsible for the hardness and rigidity of the bone. The cells of bone are osteoprogenitor cells. These cells are found on the external and internal surfaces of the bone. إذا أول نوع من الخلايا هي الأوستيوبروجينيتور سيلز اللي تتواجد في السطوح الداخلية والخارجية للبون. They form the inner layer of the periosteum and line the marrow cavities. يتحدد عادة بالطبقة الداخلية من البريوستيوم و also line the marrow cavity. These cells appear as flattened or spindle shaped. With elongated or avoid nucleus. هذا شكل الأوستيوبروجينيتور cells. The cytoplasm is acidophilic or slightly basophilic. These cells, osteoprogenitor cells, can divide and proliferate to transform into osteoplasts. Then osteoblasts can differentiate into osteocytes. Osteoblasts, these cells are derived from osteoprogenitor cells, which are located on the surface of the bone. They are responsible for the synthesis of organic components of the bone matrix, which called osteoid. Then the osteoblasts even to على السطح. على سطح البون 
وتكون هي مسؤولة عن بناء الأورجانيك كومبوننتس اللي شو نقصد بيها الجراوند سبستانس والفايبرز واللي نطلق عليه مصطلح أوستيويد أوستيوبلاس فاوند أون ذا سيرفيس أوف ذا بون أز سنجل لاير كومبوزد أوف كيوبويدال سيلز مثل ما نلاحظ These are cuboidal cells formed as layer. These are osteoblasts. The cytoplasm of osteoblasts it is basophilic in nature, with fine granules and large rounded nucleus. Define the osteoid. The osteoid is not calcified matrix. It is composed only of collagen type 1, protoglycan, and glycoprotein. نوع الثالث من الخلايا osteocytes. These cells are mature cells which derive from osteoblasts. إذا الأوستيوبلاست يحصل لها differentiation to form Osteocyte اللي تعتبر mature cells that found in the bone matrix اللي هي تتواجد بداخل الماتريكس matrix which lie within space or lacunae in the calcified bone matrix تتواجد within lacunae بداخل lacunae في البون matrix The characteristic features of osteocyte have flat or almond in shape with basophilic cytoplasm and a flattened, darkly staining nucleus. These cells have numerous slender cytoplasmic process. لاحظ إنه الأستيوسايت تحتوي على cytoplasmic process called filobodial process that extend into canaliculi which radiate out from the lacunae in the matrix. إذن الأستيوسايت موجودة بداخل اللاكوني. هذه هي اللاكوني. نلاحظ أن اللاكوني أيضا تحتوي على قنيات نسميها canaliculi هذه اللي فائدتها تمتد بها cytoplasmic process of the osteocyte. هذا أيضا مخطط آخر للاكوني. These are canaliculi القنيات. هذه هي الأستيوسايت والتي تمتد السيتوبلازميك بروسس in this canadic field. هذه أيضا صورة أخرى للأستيوسايت والسيتوبلازميك بروسس. This process contact with the similar process of the neighboring osteocyte. Forming gap junction through which ions and small molecules can move between these cells. إذا نلاحظ إن ال هذا cytoplasmic process تتحد أو تتصل مع the neighboring cells وبالتالي توفر طريقة ك gap junction من خلالها تعبر الأيونات and small molecules from one cell to another within the bone. This contact between these cells. It is a provide mechanism for nutrients and can exchange of metabolites between the blood stream and osteocyte. إذن هذا الاتصال بين الخلايا من خلال السيتوبلازم بروسس بين الجسم السيل يسمح بالنوترينس والميتابوليتيز إنه تمر إلى كل الأستيوسايت which found in the bone. وبالتالي تتصل أيضا بالنهاية مع blood streams اللي يكون مجاور للبون. These cells are responsible for maintaining of the bone matrix. نوع الآخر والأخير من ال cells هي osteoclasts. These osteoclasts are large cells, which also called giant cells. الخلايا العملاقة, which appear large in size, multinucleated, which contain Five to fifty nuclei in each cells. ممكن أن تحتوي عدد الأنوية إلى خمسين نواة في الخلية الواحدة.
The cytoplasm of these cells is acidophilic, granular, and vacuolated in appearance. Some of these vacuoles contain lysosomal in nature. If you notice that it is very important that they are highly vacuolated in their cytoplasm, and most of these vesicles are based on lysosomes in their work. Osteoclasts found attached to the bone surface. Also, the osteoclasts are found on the bone surface. In shallow depression called half shifts lacrimi. موجودة بشكل بتقاعر على سطح البون نسمي half shifts lacrimi. فإذا نلاحظ إنه معظم الخلايا كلها تتواجد على السطح مثل الأوستيوبلاست الأوستيوبلاست. فقط الأوستيوسايت موجودة within the bone matrix. What is the role of osteoclast? These cells play an important role in resorption and remodeling of bone tissue. إذا تلعب دور بامتصاص البون وتحليله وتجديد البون تشو. Periosteum, this fibrous sheet that cover the external surfaces of the bone. إذا البري أوستيوم هو الغلاف الخارجي اللي يغلف البون من السطح وهو يشابه البري كوندريوم It is consist of two layer the outer layer and inner layer The outer layer is dense irregular connective tissue with a few fibroblasts and containing a network of blood vessels and nerve While The inner layer, it is composed of loose connective tissue, it is less vascular and highly cellular, where contain flattened cells, which are called osteoprogenital cells. بينما الطبقة الداخلية تكون loose connective tissue, where it can less containing of blood vessels, but highly cellular, where معظم هذه cells هي عبارة عن osteoprogenital cells. ومثل ما نلاحظ ان الاوستيوبروجينيتال سيلز بلاي امبورتنت رول ان بون جروث اند ريبير من خلال توليدها للاوستيوبلاست. وايل اندو اوستيوم تيس ثين شيت ذات لاين ذا انترنال سيرفيسز اوف ذا كافيتيز اوف ذا بون. بينما الاندو اوستيوم هي الاغلفه اللي تبطن السطوح الداخليه للكافيتيز اوف ذا بون. It is composed of specialized thin connective tissue that contain osteoprogenital cells. What are the functions of periosteum and endoosteum? The principal functions of these sheath are in nutrition of bone, من خلال وجود blood vessels في هذه الأغلفة, also for repair and the growth of bone. من خلال احتواء على الأوستيوبروجينتال سيلز. Bone are classified according to their shape into long bone, short bone, flat bone, and irregular bones. The long bone have shaft called diaphysis and two expanded ends, each called The articular cartilage of the epiphysis is covered with hyaline cartilage. The menach section in the bone in lahad mantaktil epiphysis. It is composed of a spongy bone covered by thin layer of compact bone. إذا معظمها هو spongy bone. وطبقة رقيقة فقط هي تحيطها compact bone while the diaphysis composed mainly of compact bone with a small amount of spongy bone إذن بينما لاحظ منطقة diaphysis معظمة هو compact bone هذه وبالداخل يكون a small amount of spongy bone The spongy bone consists of slender irregular trabeculae or called bars which branch 
and unite with one another to form network. إذا مثل ما نلاحظ إنه طبيعة سبونجي بون تكون الماتريكس ترتب بشكل ترابيكلي or بار مثل ما تلاحظوها تتفرع وتتشابك مع بعضها بحيث يظهر شكلها network within the bone. This trabeculae consists of several lamellae in which lacunae containing osteocyte. إذا هذه هي بالتكبير اللاملي هذه هي الترابيكولي اللي تحتوي على اللاملي هذه الخطوط هي اللاملي اللي تحتوي على الأوستيوسايتس which found within lacunae. هذه صورة أخرى للترابيكولي اللي توضح الأوستيوسايت which found within bone matrix على السطح هذه الأوستيوبلاس which found on the surface The trabeculae of spongy bone surround spaces that called marrow cavities هذه هي marrow cavities which fold with bone marrow there are two types of bone marrow, either red bone marrow or yellow bone marrow. The red bone marrow contains primitive stem cells, we لاحظنا أن معظم خلايا connective tissue تنشأ منها, while yellow bone marrow it is composed of adipose cells. نوع ثاني من bone compact bone or lamellar bone, which is composed of structural units. That called osteon or haversian system. Compact bone yet elef min added min el haversian system, which called also osteon. Each haversian system consists of concentric lamellae, yet elef min added min al safihat el mutahida el markaz. These lamellae surrounded the central canal, which called haversian canal. Hadi here haversian canal. Which contain loose connective tissue and containing blood vessels and nerve. It then haversian system composed from haversian canal and concentric lamellae. The function of haversian system is to bring the nutrients to the compact bone. It then وظيفة الهابرسيان سيستم إن ينقل المغذيات إلى البون. بالكامل. Each haversian canal lined by osteoblasts and osteoprogenitor cells and loose connective tissue and in addition to the blood vessels and nerve. كل هذه موجودة in haversian canal. Within these lamellae there is lacunae, which have canaliculi. These lacunae containing osteocyte and the cytoplasmic process of osteocyte found in the canaliculi. These are penetrate adjacent lamellae and attached to the canaliculi of neighboring lacunae, and this made contact between these osteocytes. And this serves for the passage of substance between the osteocytes and with the blood vessels. The haversian canals communicate with each other and attached with the periosteum with transverse or oblique canal which called Volkmann canals. It then Volkmann canal turbot between two Haversian systems and between the neighboring Haversian system and with the very osteum that surrounded the surface of the bone. The intervals between Haversian systems and Masafat Eli Bien and Haversian systems are filled with interstitial lamellae, which act as backing between adjacent Haversian systems. إذا هذه المسافات بين الهافرسين سيستم مملوءة باللاملي اللي نسميناها انترستيشال لاملي 
وتعمل كأرضية بالشكل الكومباكت بون بعض هذه اللاملية يطلق عليها inner circumferential lamellae which are located around the marrow cavities بعض هذه اللاملية اللي ما إلها تنظيم معين موجودة حول المرو cavities Also the outer circumferential lamellae found beneath the periosteum وأيضا مجموعة أخرى يطلق عليها outer circumferential lamellae اللي موجودة تحت البريوستيوم يعتقد أن هذه اللاملي lived by previous haversian system destroyed during the growth and remodeling of the bone يعتقد أن هذه انتركت خلال عملية تحطيم الهافرسيان سيستم السابقة خلال عمليات النمو والتجديد أيضا تقسيم آخر للبون اعتمادا على مراحل تكوينه Primary bone and secondary bone. Primary bone, also called immature bone or woven bone, it is the first bone that tissue appear during fetal development and also during bone repair process. إذا أول ما يظهر البون يكون بشكل primary bone خلال عمليات التطور الجيني أو الجنيني وأيضا من خلال عمليات تجديد البون. It is temporary and it is replaced in adult by secondary bone, except in very few places, such as near the sutures of the flat bones of the skull and in the in the tooth sockets. The character feature of a primary bone: this type have a regular array of collagen fibers in the matrix. Therefore, this bone no. لا ملا. إذا ترتيب الكولاجين فايبرز بالماتريكس تكون إيرجولار وبالتالي لا تكون هذه اللاملي اللي تكون متحدة المركز كونسترك لاملي. الاختلاف الآخر عن الماتشور إنه سمولر كونتينت أوف مينيرالز أند كونتين هاير بروبورشن أوف أوستيوسايتس ذان سكندري بون. أيضا نلاحظ إنه محتوياته من ناحية المينيرالز تكون أقل بالمقارنة مع ال سكندري أو الماتشور وأيضا يحوي على نسبة عالية من الأوستيوسايت في داخل البون These cells tend to be randomly arranged طبعا ترتيب هذه الخلايا يظهر أنه تكون irregular in arrangement Also the matrix has more ground substance than in secondary bone وأيضا كمية الground substance تكون أكبر بكثير من الماتشور بون While the other type, which called secondary bone, or also called mature bone, or lamellar bone, is found in adult. كل الصفات اللي ذكرناها بالcompact bone هي تنطبق عليه من ناحية haversian system, haversian canal, concentric lamellae, osteocyte موجودة بالداخل, the osteoblast اللي موجود على سطح البون, the osteoclast. And all the components of the compact bone found here in secondary bone are called mature bone. Thank you for listening.